ROI measurement lab is intended to be done with a partner. The first measurement taken is height. One partner takes off his shoes and stands against the wall. The other places a book on their head, making sure the book is level, and makes a mark showing where the book meets the top of the head. From here, use a tape measure or meter stick to measure the distance from the floor to the mark you just made. The next measurement being taken is the person's stretch. This is the distance from the left shoulder to the right middle finger when the arm is raised parallel to the floor. Next is the measurement of the torso. Record the vertical distance from the top of the head to the bottom of the spine in a straight line while seated. Next is length and width of head. For length of head, touch one point of the caliper to the middle of the forehead and the other point to the center of the back of the head and record the distance. For width of head, touch one point of the caliper to each temple and record the distance. Next, we will measure the height of the ear. Measure from the highest point on the upper rim to the lowest point on the earlobe. For length of the left foot, person A will stand in a chair and lean forward, bracing themselves. Person B will then accurately define the distance from the back of the heel to the end of the big toe. Make sure the measuring device is stretched against the inside of the foot and record the distance. For length of the left middle finger, person A rests the tip of their middle finger on a tabletop, bending the finger slightly so that the knuckle is prominent. Person B records the straight line distance from the tip of the finger to the knuckle. The best way to record the distance from the elbow to the tip of the middle finger is to have person A lean on a table, placing their elbow at the zero mark of the tape measure. Person B will make sure the tape is stretched in a straight line to the end of the middle finger and record the distance. For width of the cheeks, person B will touch each point of the caliper to the outer edge of each cheekbone and record the distance. For length of the left little finger, person A will rest their hand on a flat surface and person B will record the distance from the fingertip to the second knuckle. You will finish the lab by recording both you and your partner's left eye color. Add your data to the existing class totals and create a bar graph showing the frequency of eye color for students in your class.